Hello and welcome. Thanks for spending some time with us today as we talk about one of my favorite topics, marketing automation, and specifically the leading solution for Microsoft Dynamics 365 and CRM users, Click Dimensions. Now to take a step back, my name is Chad Collette. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Ledger Partners, where we help businesses transform their approach to sales, marketing, and customer service by aligning these teams to focus on improving their customers' experience through CRM, like Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Salesforce, as well as marketing automation like Click Dimensions, who I am super jazzed about having join us today. Now, before I introduce our presenter, I have just a couple quick housekeeping items I want to cover. Today's webinar is being recorded and will be available on demand after the live session. Now, all attendees all will receive a follow-up email with the webinar and a link to access the presentation. Now make sure you add ledgypartners.com to your safe sender list so we ensure deliverability of our emails directly to your inbox. Now to ensure the best audio quality, we have everyone on listen-only mode. But if you have a question, and we do really encourage those, please submit those in the question pane of your GoToWebinar control panel. We have a lot of information to get through today, but we'll follow up with you within 24 hours to make sure all your questions are answered. Now that we got those details out of the way, on to our main focus for today taking a look at marketing automation and specifically click dimensions. Now, if you're a user of Microsoft Dynamics 365 or CRM, there's no other marketing automation tool that integrates as well as click dimensions. I know this because I've been a user of click dimensions for nearly seven years. I always joke that it's hard to tell where dynamics ends and click dimensions begins because the integration is just that seamless. Now, whether you're a marketing automation veteran or just dipping your toes into the world of automation, Today, we're happy to welcome Stacy from Click Dimensions, who is going to give us a demonstration of this solution and how it can be a true game changer for your business. Stacy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much, Chad. I look forward to sharing every, with everyone the functionality and features around marketing automation right inside your 365 environment. So let's just begin. First off, just to give a little bit of background with Click Dimensions. You know, this is a typical scenario that we actually see today with a lot of marketers. So we have email marketing. Typically, it's an outside tool outside of your CRM environment. So you get your email data in one place. You may even have your web intelligence in another, surveys or web forms somewhere else, even your social in a different place. So nothing is talking to each other at all and nothing is being cohesive. And especially to be able to interact with all of your great customer data you have in your D365 environment. And that's where Click Dimensions is actually the preferred email and marketing automation platform for Dynamics 365 is because we're the only ones that are actually gonna be 100% native right into your 365 environment. So what that's gonna mean from, from a marketing perspective is all the functionality and features I'm gonna be showing, you're easily gonna be able to do right within your 365 environment but then also all the great data that you're getting from utilizing these different functions and features, easily pop that data into dashboards and views right within your 365 environment. So you can easily measure the different metrics you wanna be able to measure off of. And from an IT perspective, what makes it so great is that you don't have to worry about managing two separate systems. Everything is truly gonna be one right within your 365 environment. So you don't have to worry about managing multiple systems at the same time. So getting right into it, these are the key features of Click Dimensions. Now, obviously email marketing, you know, that's kind of the backbone of everything. Now around events, if you have any in-person or online events, where you utilize a go-to webinar, WebEx, or Eventbrite. You can easily be able then to integrate those right inside your 365 environment via Click Dimensions to easily be able to market to those participants. We also do have social marketing. What's great about our social marketing is if you want to do just a basic post, either schedule it now or at a later date and time, you can do that easily from the comfort of your 365 environment or if you do have a more robust social media strategy where you want enhanced analytics, social listening, you know, content curation, and a lot of the other different factors for a more robust social media standpoint, we do have a social media add-on module available as well. Campaign automation. 
Now, what's great about that is that's going to truly be a nice central hub where you can easily schedule out and send out series of emails, but also route people on different paths of communication based on how they interact. So there's probably a lot of things that you're doing today on a manual basis for follow-ups that you could potentially automate with a tool like the campaign automation to really streamline your overall marketing efforts. We also do have SMS text message integrations. So if you guys have bulk SMS, Twilio, or MessageNet, one of those three SMS providers, you're easily going to be able then to integrate that right inside your 365 environment via click dimensions to easily be able to market to those participants, to those individuals. You can send out an a SMS to a bulk um, marketing list to a lot of individuals all at once, or you can even send out individual ones as well. We also do have lead scoring, so you can easily measure people's level of engagement with you based on web form submissions, website visits, and even clicks inside emails. We do have a full robust web intelligence solution in here. We also do offer full training and support. We have landing pages, surveys, and also forms as well. And like I mentioned earlier, all the great data that you're getting from utilizing these different functions and features, easily pop that data into dashboards and views right within your 365 environment so you can easily measure the different metrics you want to measure off of. And if you do have Power BI, you can also be able to easily, in, you know, via a via a um, content pack integration, you can bring in some of that click dimensions data into your Power BI for even greater reporting possibilities. So getting right into it, these this is going to be click dimensions. Again, you're just gonna it's gonna sit right within your CRM environment. So you're not gonna have to worry about going into all these different places. It's truly just gonna be all right within this tool. So the first thing I want to share with you are emails. So with emails, there's a wide variety of ways to do an email. If you love to work 100% HTML, let's say in Dreamweaver, and you want to pop the code in the system and email out rendered as coded, you could easily do that. Or if you like to more start from scratch and be able to edit some HTML, we also do have a different editor for that as well. And our most popular one, though, definitely is our drag and drop editor. And what's great about that is you can be, create a very nice professional looking email without really any design experience. And that's the one I'm gonna show you right now. So what's great about this drag and drop editor, again, like I mentioned, you can easily create a nice professional looking email without any design experience. So first off, when I'm opening up this tool, you'll notice that we have featured templates available. So what's nice about these featured templates is that they're already pre-built and you can easily be able to pop in your information. Or we also do have these basic layouts where you could easily pick a layout and then easily make modifications to it. So when I did that, um, I actually took some information from the LedgeView website. But when we do this, it's very user friendly to be able to do. I can easily upload an image to the image manager. I can section out with folders for easy organization. I can even do Photoshop type features if I wanted to. So maybe I want to do a filter and maybe create an Instagram kind of an effect and change the filter color. Or I could crop it, resize it, put text on it. So I definitely do have Photoshop type features within this editor tool. Another thing was with text or image, I can easily link it to something specific. So maybe I want to link this to a website link, email, click to phone if they're using a mobile device, a document, a subscription page, or even a click dimension survey or a landing page. Another thing to keep in mind with this is that with click dimensions, you're really going to have the power to be able to personalize this message, however you see fit. So let's say you want to send an email out to all of your existing clients and you want to address them all by their first name. All you have to do is click this person icon right here. And any fields that you have in the owner, lead, contact, or account records, and all the fields that you have within those records, those are going to be accessible to you. So, I mean, you're truly going to have the power to be able to personalize this even far beyond just a first or last name. Another thing to keep in mind is I can easily be able to modify it. 
maybe I want to put in an image box or a text box or like a sleek looking divider or social sharing links if I wanted to. Or even let's say you have a video that you want to show off. Easily add the video URL and a, an image will automatically be generated to link right to the, the video link. Also, obviously, um, with marketers, branding is very important. So by all means, if you guys have a particular shade that you love to work with, um, whether it's for the background colors or the text colors, by all means, pop in those color codes. So it's going to be able to match and complement your exact color code specifications. And also keep in mind with this is that the drag and drop does have responsive design automatically built into it. So regardless, if someone views this from message from their desktop or from their mobile device, it's going to be a great user experience regardless of the device they're viewing this from. And another thing to keep in mind that's going to be a real time saver. Let's say you love the look and feel of this email template and you want to be able to use it in the future, maybe for a different communication, but make some tweaks and edits to it. From that point, you don't have to start from scratch if you don't want to. Click Save to My Templates. And then what will happen is you can easily be able to name it, save it, and then anytime that you open up this email template, email editor, instead of going to basic layouts or featured templates, go to My Templates. And anytime you have a specific template you want to revert back to, click on it go to it. So you really don't have to start from scratch that point if you don't want to. Another thing for marketers that are a little more particular, especially on the look and feel of the email, we also do have corporate styling available. So you can really get that precise look on line spacing, letter spacing, borders, topography. All right, well, now that I showed you the drag and drop editor, like I mentioned before, that's actually just one of our four different type types of editors we have. But for time wise, now I'd like to be able to dive into the sending of the email and the great data that you're going to get behind the scenes with it. So when you're sending out an email with click dimensions, you know, it's going to be very user friendly to be able to do this. So first up, I'm going to click on a newsletter that we had sent out. And when we do this, you know, as a marketer, all you have to do is attach the email template you already made, put in the subject line. Literally, I'm, I'm going to show you just a reminder of all this data you can combine with dashboards and views. So we actually put this dash, this newsletter, and we attached it to our monthly newsletter campaign dashboard. You could choose to see this set to send this information from the record owner or someone else in the organization. You could choose to send it out now or at a later date and time. And again, since we're going to be native into your 365 environment, you don't have to worry about exporting marking lists to send out communications or even importing things back in. Truly, whichever marking lists are in your 365 environment that you want to send to, just click which marking list you want to send to in your 365 environment, and it's going to appear right here. Now, I showed you here that we sent out to one list. But to, just a reminder that you can easily send to multiple marking lists at the same time, and those lists can be static or dynamic when you're sending out a bulk email. All right, now that we've looked at the sending of the email, let's talk about the great data and statistics you're going to get behind the scenes after that email was sent out. Um, and before I do that, I want to let you know that you could easily be able to do A-B split testing with this tool as well. Now, when we're looking at the statistics behind an email, what's nice about this is that it's going to give you guys a lot of different metrics to be able to look at. So I can really get as broad or specific as I want to when I'm looking at the email stats. So the first thing, for instance, when I look at this, I could see that we sent this email out to 171 individuals. I could see the number of, you know, the percentage of emails opened, the click rate. But if I really want to get a little bit more specific into it, I can look at the email clients and see, hey, are people viewing this more from their desktop versus their mobile device? Conversions, this is probably my favorite view because I can quickly and easily see how many emails were delivered, how many clickers, how many opens. 
let's say you guys put in a quick dimensions web form or a survey into that email send. I can easily see how many web forms or surveys were completed as a result of the email send and how many website visits were attributed to the email send. I can also look at recipients. I can see all the names of the individuals that received this message, how many times they opened it, how many times they actually even clicked inside it. Now, if I really wanted to, I can easily be able to see when they open it up and exactly what links they clicked on. And I'll show you the contact record in just a little bit. Also with that, I can do heat map and I can visually be able to see by percentage point the top links people are clicking on. So I can see what are the most attention grabbing headlines? You know, what are people most interested in? Now, don't get me wrong, these percentage points are great to look at, but they're not actually gonna tell you the full story. So if you want more specifics on actually who's doing the clicking, go to this click report right here. And I can easily be able to see that on this link, for instance, I could see that nine individuals clicked on the link 10 times. Now, if I click on it, I could see then all the names of the individuals that specifically clicked on that link in the newsletter. Now, let's say I want to find out more about this individual that clicked on the link two times. I can click on that person's name. And that right there is going to take me to that person's actual contact record. All right. Now, in the contact record, um, I just want to pause for a moment because um, I already, because in the contact record, what's great about this is the tool in general is really geared a lot towards marketers. But sales departments also see a great value in click dimensions because there's a lot of visibility that they can gain on their clients and prospects by utilizing this tool. So, for instance, let's say Kevin is one of my clients. Obviously, in the 365 record, you know, you're going to have all the great data on Kevin. But when you guys add click dimensions to this, it's going to truly add a new whole level of transparency and really good data on that individual. So on Kevin's contact record, I can easily see any click dimensions emails we ever sent Kevin. How many times he opened up the email? How many times he clicked inside the email? Again, if I really wanted to, I could see exactly when he opened it up and exactly what links he clicked on. I can also be able to see any web pages of ours that Kevin has ever been on. You know, how long was he actually on each page for? I could see any web forms or surveys he's ever committed, submitted with us. And I can even drill down specifically to see what he filled out on those web forms or surveys. Another thing with this is that let's say you have a go-to webinar, WebEx or Eventbrite, one of those event integrations, then at that point what can happen is I'm on the contact record and if I go to events, I can easily see any event he registered for with us, if he attended, if he missed, again, all that information right in the contact record. Now, there may be times situations, I already showed you how to send out to a marketing list, which is great, but there may be times and situations that you just wanna send off just a one-off email, but still have all the great tracking capabilities behind it. So if that's the case, let's say I wanna send just Kevin out an email. At that point then, I can easily click Quick Send, and any email template that you see in here, when you're getting ready to send out a follow-up email, and you want all the tracking, and you want that email template to appear in here, Mark it as quick send, your make, quick send when you're making it, so it'll appear right here. So I'm gonna click on freestyle, for instance, and I can easily modify the subject line. I can modify if I want from the record owner or someone else. And if I open it up, I can easily be able to, now I actually made this purposely look like an Outlook looking type of an email. So I can modify this. I can save it. Click refresh, changes are made. At that point, I'm gonna click on the send button and there from Kevin's contact record, anytime he opened up the email, clicked on the email, 
all that information is going to be right in his contact record. All right. Well, now that we learned more about that, let's actually dive a little bit now into our camp animation tool. So what's great about our camp animation tool is this is going to be a nice central hub for your team to truly be able to create a visual type of roadmap where it can easily schedule out and send out series of emails, but also route people on different paths of communication based on how they interact. So for instance, in this, in this scenario, what we did was we sent an email to a marketing list, okay? From there, what we did was we put in a trigger that said, all right, anyone that opened up this email, we send those people down this path where a task was created and a user was notified to follow up with them personally. Alternatively, what we did was anyone that did not open up this email, they just ignored it. We sent those individuals down an alternative path where we put in a wait timer that said, all right, we're gonna wait for three days and send another follow-up email just to try to grab their attention here one last time. Now with actions, it's not even just the, the task or you know the notifications or the same of the email, you can also add them to a marketing list, update a field, you can create a task, you know, and do a campaign response, send an SMS text message. And even with the triggers, it's not even just an email interaction. You can even do it if they submit a Click Dimensions web form, a subscription, a survey. So there's a lot of ways to really be able to get the most out of this tool. And keep in mind that you also are going to have the ability to be able to save this as a template to be able to use in the future. And we also do have campaign automation templates, where if you want a little bit more guidance, especially when you're starting out with the tool, you can easily click a scenario and there's going to be it already built out. So you can easily be able to use an alter if you want to. All right. And then keep in mind, since we're going to be native right into the CRM environment, any email that's opened, any website link that's clicked on, all that information is going to flow into everyone's personal contact records, just like I showed you with Kevin's. Moving on now to web analytics. So what's great with our web analytics is that it's going to give you guys a lot of transparency and a lot more visibility into the individuals. So when I look at web visits, I can see all the general visits that are going on. I can see if, you know, and they're the, if if they're already identified in the contact or lead area with a name, that means they've already been identified with click dimensions. And you're identified with click dimensions with one of two ways. Either you fill a form out with click dimensions or you click on a link in an email that was sent out via click dimensions. Now I already showed you all the great data that you're able to get once someone already is identified with click dimensions. Um, but What's great about us is that you see these individuals where nothing is filled out in the leader contact area. These are what we call anonymous visitors. So that means they have never filled out a form with us or they never clicked on a link in an email that was sent out via click dimensions. But even though they, we've never properly identified with them yet, we are still monitoring every single move they make with us on our website. And I'm gonna show you why that is so important. So if I go to anonymous visitors, all these are what we call anonymous visitors, meaning they've never filled out a form on our site, they've, they've never you know, filled out a form via Click Dimensions, never clicked on a link that was sent via Click Dimensions in an email. But if I look and I drill down on this, I can visually be able to see if I'm looking at page views, day after day, page after page, every page they've been on, how long they were on each page for. Now, when the time does come when that individual either fills out a form via Click Dimensions or clicks on a link in an email that was sent out via Click Dimensions and they do become identified. All this web browser history from when they are an anonymous visitor is then gonna be tied to their now identified contact record. So truly, once you get Click Dimensions all up and running, from that point going forward, when someone goes to your website and kind of starts clicking around, you know, to when they do become identified, you're going to have all this web browser history to be able to look back on to see 
How long have they been interested in us? What have they been checking us out for? So this information then tied what's in that person's already identified contact record. I mean, you're truly gonna have a 360 degree view of that person's level of interaction with you. Now, what I also wanted to share with you as well is around our actual um, web forms that we have. Now, what's great about our Click Dimensions web forms is that there's a lot of great um, information you can kind of grab for that and also a lot of automatic follow-ups. So when we're with a web form, and the same thing it applies to our surveys as well. When I'm building out the web form, a click dimension survey is gonna be very similar in how it's built and also the automatic follow-ups behind the scenes. So when we're building this out, it's very user-friendly. I could just do a new field. It retains in here just like a library drag it in, drop it over. Actions. So when it gets filled out, um, when, the, when the web form gets filled out, there's a lot of automatic actions that can happen behind the scenes. First off, I mean, it's going to write automatically into the CRM, but then there's also these other actions that can happen. So maybe I want to add them to a marketing list. Maybe I want to create a task or a phone call to have someone follow up with them personally. An email notification, a team notification, a campaign response, assign it to someone specific. And then to embed it, there's a few different easy ways to embed. You can do it as a widget, an iframe, or as a direct link in an email. And just to let you know, also with our Click Dimensions web forms, you know, they're very easy to be able to use, but also email address, that is going to be the key identifier here. Okay, so let's say this is the Click Dimensions web form and someone filled this out with the email address and that email address was already in your CRM. Then that web form would just attach to your already identified contact record. But let's say that someone filled out a form on your website with Click Dimensions and that email address is not in your CRM today. That form would then just come into your CRM and automatically create a lead or a contact just a matter of how this data is, how this web form is built out. All right. Now, I also wanted to let you know as well that if you ever want to do landing pages with Click Dimensions, you could do landing pages also as well. And the last thing I wanted to share with you is our marketing calendar. So, what's great about our marketing calendar is this is truly gonna give you guys a nice central hub to have everything in one neat and organized place. So with this, I can easily be able to keep track on a monthly, weekly, or daily basis, click dimensions campaigns, e you know, click dimensions emails, campaign automations, you know, if you're using our bulk SMS text message feature, if you're using our events, if you're using our social post feature, all this information then is going to flow into your CRM environment, into this marketing calendar. So as a marketer, you're easily gonna be able to keep track of this. All right, and then going back to emails, I also wanted to let you know as well that you're easily gonna be able to have the ability to be able to empower the people that are receiving your messages to really choose which communications they want to receive from you. So with every email that you send out, you're going to be able to do a subscription preferences page. So when you scroll down to the bottom of the email, the people that receive your messages are going to be able to click on this and they're going to have the ability to be able to choose which communications they want to receive from you. Now, this is obviously, since this was a Click Dimensions newsletter, that's why it has click dimension subscription preferences right on top and all these different options. Now, if when you purchase click dimensions, you're going to be able to make this 100% branded to your own brand with your own logo, your own lit, you know, communications you want them to be able to subscribe to. And then what's great about this is anytime this is filled out, all those preferences automatically flow into the person's contact record. 
And keep in mind, tying all this together, you know, all the great data that you're getting from utilizing these different features, whether it be email statistics, you know, web form submissions, website visits, all these different things, all these different data points coming together. Again, you can easily pop that data into dashboards and views right within your 365 environment. So you can easily be able just to measure the different metrics that you wanna be able to look at. All right, that is kind of a summary of the main features of Click Dimensions. One thing I would like to point out as well is that this is definitely a, a tool that constantly keeps improving and evolving over time. Every single month we do a we do a product release, an update where we either come out with brand new features or tweaks to existing features. So we're constantly updating and improving this over time. Now, getting back to the support, you know, we're going to be able to offer you support. We're going to be able to offer you training. But I also wanted to let you know as well that with click to with our partnership that we have with LegView, you know, LegView has a wealth of information from case studies to ebooks to webinars. Um, but then also, if you do have any additional questions or you'd actually like to see a tailored demo of Click Dimensions, please reach out to myself, Stacy, I'm the Territory Sales Manager, or the fantastic team at LegView Partners. All right, thank you, Stacy, for that great demo of Click Dimensions. Got so many features that can create so many efficiencies and opportunities for companies. And I know a lot less stress and headaches for marketers, that's for sure. So again, as Stacy mentioned, what you saw today was just kind of a, a, a snapshot of what Click Dimensions and marketing automation can do and uh, to really see how it can benefit uh, your organization, but also you uh, yourself you know, please request a personal demonstration because then we can really go behind the curtain and, and take a look at the features that are really important to you. So thank you so much for all attending today and we look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care and I want you to make it a great day.